Hey guys, it's Aaron. So we had a request in a previous layout video asking about saving dimension styles. So, you know, going and changing your dimension styles and then having it save it so that was the default. The answer to that is of course templates, just like in SketchUp. But we haven't actually talked on how to make a template. So that's what this video is gonna be about. Let's hop in. Okay, so I have a blank file here. This is actually just a letter piece of paper, no grid on it. Uh, this is important because the page you have here is what's going to end up getting saved into your template. So there's some presets, of course. If I come over here to layout and preferences, uh, this stuff's all important too. This is, this is all primarily like how is SketchUp going to run. So this stuff doesn't necessarily get pulled into your template. That's just an important thing I just wanted to point out. You do have some settings here. So if you're looking for like where your folders are, something like that, that's not gonna be, that's independent of the template. So let's hop in here and see the stuff that we can save into a template. So right now I'm gonna draw some things on the screen. I'm gonna grab a rectangle and just click and drag a rectangle and there we go. That's what a rectangle looks like. It's just a half point stroke, uh, no fill. That's a default rectangle. If I go to text and drag that out and type, this is default text. I just love when people type in videos and read what they're typing like you can't see it. And I'm going to put a dimension on here. I'm going to click here, going to click here, pull that out. Okay, that's the default dimension. So this is the default info. So uh, as usual, like if, if I wanted to come in here and draw something different, so if I go into my rectangle tool, and I want to draw a red rectangle filled with red and with a big flat fat two point liner on the outside, what I would do is I could draw it first and then select it and change it, or I could just set it up beforehand. So I can come in here and say, I do want fill. I want that fill to be a red color. And my stroke, I want it to be solid, but I want it to be like two points. Now, if I click and draw, that's the rectangle I get. So this is great for one-off times. You know, you can set your information, set your properties for your shape, then draw them. That's perfect, that's great. Same goes for text and dimensions. So if I come in here, draw another text box, before I draw, before I put cursor to paper, as it were, I can come up here to my windows, bring up my fonts, and say, um, okay, I'm gonna actually go with something like a Tahoma, and I'm gonna go real big, like maybe 24 points. So right now, before I've done anything else, I know that when I start drawing my text, it's gonna look like that. So I'll draw my box, and I'll, I'll type. So this is now my text type. Again, dimensions, you're gonna be surprised to see it's the same thing. It's a combination of all those pieces though, because I can come in here and I'll leave the same font, but maybe we'll go to a different color. Maybe I'll take it up to like a blue. And I'm gonna come in here. I didn't like how this was down to a 30 second. So I'm gonna say my precision, take that down to 16th. And I don't like the arrows. I would rather have this dash on there. Now, when I draw a dimension, you see, that's what it uses. There's the dash, you can see it's rounded to a 16th, or in this case, it's rounded to an eighth, uh, rather than a 32nd, and I got the dashes rather than the arrows. Okay, so right now, I'm gonna say that's what I want. Anytime I draw a rectangle, I want it to be red with a thick line. Anytime I draw text, I want it to be this big 24 point, and anytime I put in a dimension, I want blue text with dashes here, rounding to near a 16th of an inch. That, when I'm at that point, I can go to File, Save as Template. And guess what? This works just like the templates do in SketchUp. So I'm just gonna call this my new template and click Save. All right, now, if I say File, New, it's gonna come up and say, choose a template. And it shows me all the existing templates. These are the same templates. You see every version of layout, they're the same ones. My template that I just created is over here under my templates. And it is this one that I called new template. Not this one called this is a test or new test. Sometimes you can tell how people prepare for videos. I'm gonna click on new template and boom, there it is, it shows up. Now, if I come in here and draw a rectangle, guess what? Same rectangle. If I put in text, guess what? Big text, 
if I put on a dimension line, so you can see all that information stayed. But look what else stayed. All this junk I drew on here to set up my properties is here also. So when you do go make a template, I would recommend getting rid of anything you don't want on the screen. So if you do want something like a title bar, page number, uh, some text that is supposed to be on every page, page, anything like that, put that on here. And then when you're ready, go to save as template. And we'll call this the new, new template. Then I can at any point go to new, go to my templates, and there it is, my new, new template. And in my new, new template, I'm drawing red boxes, I'm drawing big text, and I'm drawing blue dimensions, rounded to near 16th inch with slashes instead of arrows. Seems simple enough, right? We try to keep it simple, but uh, some people don't notice that that's how it works. I don't know. Now you know. So that same thing. So we covered actually covered two things there. I'm, I'm sneaky. I snuck some learning in there without telling you. You can set the properties for something you're going to create. Anything you go to draw in layout, you can set properties beforehand and then put it in. Once you have those properties set, saving the template will save that state so that anytime you use those commands, those tools inside that template, it'll use those same default values. Did you like that? If so, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. You can create several videos a week around here and you'll be notified of each and every one if you're a subscriber. Most importantly though, please leave a message down below. Most if not all of our content at this point is created based on comments from viewers like the one that made this one. We like making these videos a lot. We like making these more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.